hi, it's Carolyn the Contest Queen. It's St. Patrick's Day, and I'm here to talk about luck. It's my favorite subject. I'm just going to wait as people come on, but of course it's my favorite time of the year. And it's, it's like the sweeper's holiday, right? It's all about luck and fun and winning. And... You know, I teach people how to have fun and how to win, but luck is so important that I actually put a whole chapter in my book called Attracting Luck, right? Because that's how important uh, being lucky is. And the reason I added in that chapter was because I did have a lot of people saying to me, how can I win more? What can I do to be more lucky? And so, yes, there are odds in taking strategic, you know, steps to winning. Um, there's, you know, you, you enter in concentric circles. You enter with better odds. You maybe do contests versus sweepstakes because people aren't putting the effort in to win. So there's lots of things you can do to increase your odds. But I also think there's a little thing called luck. Now, luck doesn't magically appear like the little leprechaun I have on my desk, right? I have a little leprechaun with a pot of gold. Actually, won the little pot of gold. If any of you have ever attended a sweepstakes party hosted by Al Sayward, so they were giving out these little pots of gold, and I had my little leprechaun, and so I just put them there with the in the handle so he stands upright and I have him on my desk to always remind me that there's something that's intangible out there that doesn't just show up. So I want to talk to you about luck and so the seven principles that I feel that are important for luck, I'm just going to put the Facebook live on my phone with the volume off because I'm not seeing any other comments. And I just want to make sure if people are asking me questions that they are there, that I can see them. Well, yeah, there's a lot more comments here than what I can see on my screen. So I'll, I'll have a backup. Always good to have a backup. So the seven principles that I think that lucky people exhibit and the actions that winners possess are you have to think positively. So, I, m I remember going to a conference once, and we were at the uh, banquet dinner, my ex-husband and I, we were still married at the time, and we're sitting at the table, and these two ladies, they looked so glum, they were like, they weren't winning very much. And we were looking at them, and they go, oh, we never win. And I thought, wow, you are never going to win. They don't even think they're winning. And Helene, in her book, she talks about a time when she went out with someone who had all her mail-ins. And she took them to the post office, or the post box, and she threw them in and goes, there goes nothing. And Helene thought, wow, you're never going to win. So I'm not the only one that had that thought. You also have to expect to win. And she talks about that with her spec, right? Select it, pro ex project it, expect it, collect it. So, and I wrote all this before I even met her. So, great minds think alike. You have to feel like a winner. And she talks about that in her chapter on the, um, the difference between desire and knowing. Now, this is where we kind of deviate. I talk about having good chi inside and out. Uh, oh, everyone's saying hi. Yeah, this year I decided I wasn't up to drinking Bailey's like I did the one year. I didn't think I'd feel like <laughs> really good in the morning. I didn't want to do that because I'm like the world's cheapest drunk. I'd have a headache right away. So, but I'm glad everyone's just saying hi and I'm not missing any questions. And so I think there's something about, um, there's more to this life than we know. And she does talk about that on other levels, 
but good chi. So I like to feng shui my house and, you know, keep it clean. Do you ever spring clean? This is a good example. Who spring cleans? And they go and they move things around and they scrub things and they throw things out and they put things away. And you come into the room and you go, ah, oh, I feel so much better. Because you just moved all the energy around. You just took all the dead energy in the corners and you stirred it all up. That's feng shui. And also, you know, meditation and breathing exercises, yoga. Being outside nature. Why do you think people love hiking? and being out in nature. They've actually proven the ions, the negative ions out by a waterfall actually change your energy. It's amazing. Five, share with others what I'm doing right here. And don't cheat, not good karma. And enter, 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 what I talked about at the beginning about going odds. Yeah, and, oh, by the way, thanks everybody for the hat. I saw it at the dollar store. I had to buy it for tonight. And I also got this shirt, but you can't really see it. It says, feeling lucky. So, but it's not warm enough to just wear a t-shirt in my house. We keep the temperature down a bit. So, of course, we're going to have prizes. I'm going to talk some more, but it wouldn't be a special St. Patty's Day extravaganza Facebook Live without prizes. So... I don't know why I said I was going to be giving away a book, because I'm like, I have all these other prizes. So, of course, I found another copy of Michael Loge's The Law of Attraction. It's not autographed, unfortunately, but Michael's one of my favorites. So if you want to understand The Law of Attraction, what I like about his book is he's like the how-to guy. So a lot of people read this book, which I'm also giving away, The Secret, and but the one thing they leave out is the action part, because... They just, they get most of it, but they don't tell you you actually have to do something. Hello. Uh, I saw a meme one day. I thought it was perfect for that explanation. It said, I've been a member of that gym for two months now, and I haven't lost a single pound. Tomorrow I'm going to go in there and talk to them about this. So, <laughs> right? You have to do something to take action. Hang on, I'm going to see if I can fix the camera so it's not so... Um, Tilty. I'll just raise it up a little higher in a few more books. There, that's a little bit better. So yeah, so of course I'm going to give away prizes. And then we have, oh my god, a lucky bear! I love him. Then, a little clothing set. So we have little lucky gloves. Actually, they're fingerless gloves. You can wear them when you when you're cold and doing the computer, or you can use your phone. A little beanie with a four-leaf clover, how cute is that? And a beautiful scarf. So that's one prize. So, yeah. And then I'll give the winner a choice of one or two books. So I'll have five prizes all told. So the last winner, oh, might help if I put it forward. <laughs> we'll have a choice between these two books. And of course they'll be autographed. So, and depending on what happens, it may be a while, while before I send prizes because um, I'm not sure if the post office will close down at some point. Um, so we'll have to wait and see, but I do send prizes and uh, I'll have your email address so I'll be able to keep you abreast of what's going on uh, when I talk to the winners. So, oh, I gave away all my props. I put away all my props and they were, uh, I was also using them for teaching. I shouldn't have done that. Also, I couldn't find my copy of my favorite book called The Luck Factor. Now, I do have a PDF of it, and I'll share a link to that PDF um, in the comments when I finish and I can edit this video. But um, it's it's probably when I, if you can afford it or get the Kindle, Go and buy The Luck Factor. It's a fantastic book. It's a doctor who did scientific tests on luck. It's fantastic, right? He had four points of luck, and then each of those points had three subpoints. So it's a total of 12 underneath. And it just really scientifically explains how people who are lucky actually think differently. It's really cool. So, let's see. I'm going to start with the Law of Attraction. 
this is Michael. I met Michael years and years and years ago. And he did a presentation. I just loved it. So he's also got, I should also find the link to his, he has done hundreds of videos. Now he's currently switched and he's currently doing something called emotion code. And, but all of his earlier videos, all are about law of attraction. I have my, I have a list of favorites, but just go and watch all of them. And I've been a guest on his show several times in the past. It, I wouldn't fit into what he's doing now. But see, the definition of the law of attraction is I attract to my life whatever I give my energy, focus, and attention to, whether unwanted, wanted or unwanted. And he always says the world, the world, the universe doesn't understand the word not. So he said, try going to Google and typing in the words, no football. So you don't want any football results. If you just type the word no football, you're going to get a million football results. The universe doesn't hear no. It just hears football. So the law of attraction responds to whatever vibration you are offering by giving you more of what you're vibrating. It doesn't decide whether it's good for you or not. It simply responds to your vibration. So it's like a radio, right? If I want to listen to... You know, our local rock station, Q107, 107.1, but I dial it to 95, 90, or KX96, 96 on the dial, I'm going to have country. I can't be vibrating 96 and expect to hear rock and roll. It's kind of the same thing. He also has a three-step formula similar to Helene. Hers is four, his is three. Step one, identify your desire. Select. Raise your vibration, um, that's project, right? Three, allow, that would be collect, right? So he just doesn't have expect. But what's amazing is I don't think he ever, he didn't know who Helene was, and he was giving similar advice. And the reason that's important is because that's showing how tried and true these steps are. That many different teachers are teaching similar things in different areas. Helene said she was friends with Dr. Joseph Murphy and she asked him one time at dinner, how come you repeat the same thing over and over and over in your books, but you say it a little different? And he said, because sometimes people need to hear it, you know, 40 times before they get it. So to hear something written a different way you it clicks so I highly recommend uh, Michael's book also if you're a member of my good vibrations club and I'm doing my good vibrations chat um, there next month I alt I'm gonna did I put it for the end of this month maybe it's also for the end of this month I'll have to go look at my own calendar I think it's actually the end of this month I think I put it for the 30th so go become a member of my good vibration sweepstakes club group and I'm going to be doing a good vibes chat there. Normally I wouldn't be doing a lucky chat, but this St. Patrick's Day, hello. And, um, oh, let's see, any other, any? Hey, if anybody has any questions, you can post them. Um, okay, let's see, there's no questions, I don't see any. Lots of funny comments, so yeah, and all, every comment's an entry into the draw. You know, I'll post the rules after, but the way they let you set up Facebook Lives, it's not very conducive to posting a long set of rules, so it's easier for me just to put a little title, and then do the Facebook Live, and then go back after and insert all the rules and the links and everything I promised. Because otherwise it's just too difficult. Let's face it, Facebook isn't that friendly sometimes. So I highly recommend his book. Uh, I'll get. And so my point was, if you remember my Good Vibration Sweepstakes Club, if I find, I'm also a member, I get Kindle deals every day. And they'll do deals of the day. So sometimes they'll put on really amazing books for like $1.99, cents, things like that. So, oh, hey, I just saw my mom sign on. <laughs> Everybody's self- um, isolating right now and so I haven't seen her in a bit we talk on the phone so uh, now she can watch <laughs> anyway um, 
So what I'm doing over there is if they put a uh, deals of the day, like the other day they had think um, the power of positive thinking or was it thinking grow rich? One of them. And it was on for 99 cents. And um, so I put it there and those usually only last today. Someone asked how the club meeting was. And um, yeah, so the other thing I started doing, it's kind of breaking the continuity of this, but Normally, I have a contest club here, and we decided that it wasn't really good to meet. We were supposed to meet on Friday, and I have Zoom, and I said, well, let's all use my Zoom account, and we'll meet. And I thought, what a great idea. I'll do it with other sweepers. So I did one. I thought, well, I'll just try it and see. And I did one on Sunday, on the 15th, and it was so fun. So I thought, i got to do it again. So I looked at my calendar, and since so much stuff had been canceled, <laughs> right, everything we're doing has been canceled, I, and I wanted to give people a little more notice, I made it for Thursday, March 26th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and you can, um, it, I'm just charging people a dollar to help cover my costs, my Zoom costs, you know, because, you know, it's not free for me to use, so to help cover my costs. And then I send you a link with all the instructions, what you should have, how Zoom works, you know, a whole list of instructions. And then at the appointed time, you just I just start the meeting. Very similar to Facebook Live, except we can all see each other and we can all talk. And there's a chat room, it's very fun. Let's see if I missed anything. Oh, see now people are posting their wins. Oh, this is fun. Yeah, so I've had some people win. Congratulations to all the winners. So this is this is where this is very interesting. Uh, I do want to talk about this one because this one came out at a time. And then what happened? So this came out, I think it was 08 it was published. Let me, yeah, 07. Let me just look here. 06. Okay, so it came out in 06. It started getting really huge. I have an 07 date in here. Um, July 19th. Oh, so someone got it as a gift. Um, July 19th, 2007. And what happened in 2009? Everyone here remember? The greatest recession that the U.S. had in a long, long time. So, my fa one of my favorite teachers, Robert Ohada, said, so, if this works 100%, where's all the manifesting going on? And then we had the biggest recession. So, sometimes there's cycles of time. And this is where I love the astrology of it, right? I should also post the link um, to, s to some of the really fantastic videos I've seen. But everything happens for a reason. And we're all learning to become connected in new ways. Like, I do not think that this whole thing's an accident. Uh, and it's horrid what some people are going through. But... Um, This is what we need to remember when we're doing this. And also, manifesting what you want, Helene says it, there's no failure in results. So if you're not seeing what you want right away, actually, Michael actually talks about this. Because one time he said he was watching his weight and he would have these power shakes in the morning, but he couldn't take all his equipment with him when he went on the road. And he thought, what is he going to do? And then he saw a commercial. This is when the Nutribullet just came out. The, and the micro one. It had, they had the baby one, the small one. And he's like, oh my god, that's perfect for me. I can tuck it in my suitcase and take it with me. And, But the advertising on TV was you couldn't order in Canada. And so he thought, oh. And then he was standing in line. So now he's kind of putting out the energy. He wants one of these blenders. And then he's standing in line at the... Uh, uh, pharmacy and it was in because he's out in eastern Canada there's a chain called London Drugs so they have not just drug store stuff they have kind of like a shrunken down Walmart they have like electronics and they have like shopping it's crazy it's an amazing drug store I wish they would come out here anyway uh, so he's standing in line and he hears these two women ahead of him talking about this thing because one of them's making baby food 
and she's talking about how he got it. And he said, well, excuse me, can I interrupt? I just saw one on TV, but I can't order it. It's American. How did you get yours? And she goes, oh, they're on sale over there. <laughs> and he's like, what? And he got it a line and went and bought one. So you you just don't know how. But he said he knew he was getting closer because, you know, first he saw the commercial. So he had a need. Then he saw the commercial. Then he overheard the ladies. And then he found what he wanted. So it came in several steps. So if you get... Oh, and now my aunt's on too. She's in Australia. It's tomorrow there already. Um, so anyway, this is a really good book, but you have to take it with a grain of salt because it leaves out the most important part, which is taking action. Again, you know, you're not going to lose the weight without eating right and exercising. You can't just keep eating chips and wondering why you're not losing weight. You have to take action. If you want to enter... A marathon. You can't just sit on your couch. You have to get up and start walking and running. If you if you want you know if you want to master uh, pastry and get really good at making pie crusts, it's not going to happen on its own. You got to practice. You got to butter and flour and start you know kneading away and just learn how to do it. It's like anything. So it's like winning, right? You're not going to win just by wishing it. It's the old joke. And this guy's in the church and he's praying every Sunday he comes. Please, God, I, let, I need to win the lottery, please. Every week he's praying, please, God, can I win the lottery? Finally, God looks down at him and goes, Joe, come on, meet me halfway, buy a ticket. <laughs> you know, right? You gotta take action. Oh, Lynn says action leads to reaction that leads to satisfaction. Oh, I'm going to make that into a picture quote. And put your name on it. Or let me know where you stole that from. Thanks, Lynn. Oh, and Catherine says, with work comes rewards. Yes. And that's how you win, right? What's the title of my first book? You can't win if you don't enter. Hello. So, again, that's that's action. And so that's why I have this whole, again, set a chapter on attracting luck. And... So... Then Helene's book is all about that. Now, what I like about her book, okay, so the difference, I'll, I'll explain the differences too. So first of all, her book is in three parts, okay? She wrote the first part from, and I don't have any, I don't have the first book, but I'm guessing from how she wrote it. She wrote the first part one in 1971, and then she updated it with most of what I put in here in 1988, and then she added... Um, a few little bits over the years because she had I had a 2003 version here I'll show you what she did she would start making them at home herself <laughs> so she took her book and then she would add things to it and she would just print it out and Sir locks it <laughs> like it was crazy thankfully I had an 88 version so we were able to scan the pictures, vectorize them, render them, and then put them back in the book. So thankfully technology has moved to five. They're not perfect, but they're really close to the original. Um, so there's some of them I, I'm not 100% happy with, but we couldn't do any better. We, we tried. So, so what she did was she wrote the first book. Then she also had a lot of questions. So she actually has a whole chapter on most asked questions but you have to remember she did this a long time ago when it was really just mail-in and locals and some national ones that she mailed in it wasn't like today where we have you know online facebook twitter instagram TikTok, you know video contests photography contests essay contests um you know local sweeps that like this I think she'd be <laughs> she might even be overwhelmed uh, texting like there's just a crazy amount of ways to enter now so what she does in this book is yes she does teach you how to enter like she has a whole chapter called um, supplies for the contester she talks about you know paper cards and things and then she has a whole thing on the steps I take to enter contests but they're they're mail-ins like her 
whole supplies for the contester and what I take to enter is f six pages. And how I teach you how to enter is 200 pages. <laughs> so what the difference is, I have a wee chapter on attracting luck, and the rest of my book is taking you step by step on how to enter, how to enter radio, how to enter text, how to enter Facebook, how to enter, you know, I go through all the steps, how to organize your sweepstakes using a form, how to do this. She, she doesn't do any of that. So if you want to learn how to win, get my book. If you want to learn how to master spec, which is select it, project it, expect it, collect it, this book. So basically, this is really a law of attraction book, like The Secret, disguised as a sweepstakes book. That's the difference between the books. And again, everybody puts their own spin in it. Plus, she's quirky, and I just, I just love, I wish I'd spent more time with her, and I wish I understood in 2008 what a gift it was I, I mean I knew it was really amazing to spend time with her but I wish I appreciated it even more than I do now like did at the time because I appreciate it so much more now uh, that I'm working with her words and then I added um, a lot of her stuff uh, that she had had in the bits so she didn't she didn't have the technology then so if she just did an update she just tacked it onto the end and I was able to pull those and actually put them in the proper spaces in the book. So it's kind of cool. So that's, let me see if anybody has any. Um, yeah, Linda, she says, why don't you read Helene's book for so long? So uh, I only sell the paperbacks. They're $20 on Amazon and the Kindles are only 10 bucks. So, you know, two trips to Starbucks, which nobody's doing right now. So they have the 10 bucks <laughs> to go to Amazon and get the book. Um... Yeah, so anybody, okay, so does anybody have any um, statements on luck or what you've been doing to get lucky? Also, I don't have it to give away, but the movie is very good, if you can get it, um, of The Secret. And a lot of the same teachers, like she used the, Rhonda Barn used books from uh, Wallace Waddle right that famous Wallace Waddle book but Helene said right in the beginning of her book that she or um, in her videos I also created a Helene Hadsel playlist on my YouTube channel if you want to go check it out and she read The Power of Positive Thinking by Norman Vincent Peale and that's how she won her first contest because she read his book and went oh I can do that like she was so nonchalant which is really amazing <laughs> And she went, oh, I can do that. And then she saw the contest and thought, oh, and she entered for her husband and he won. And she t did not, I don't, I don't, how do I say this? She did not not expect, like, she, it was just natural for her. Um, oh, I put in my entry, I'm going to win. That was just how she was. Okay, I wonder how long it's going to take. And the same thing happened with my daughter when she was really little. I remember when, oh, she must have been about two and a half. And the local paper, which we had all the time, they don't, the paper really doesn't exist anymore. We used to get the local paper, and certain times of the year, they would do coloring contests for kids, and they would give them Easter prizes or Mother's Day, you know, color something, win something for your mom. So there was one time a coloring contest, and I had left it too late to mail in the entry, so I was going to go down to the local paper and just drop it off. So she was in the back seat, just, she's really little, she's in the, you know, the whole car seat thing. And I say, uh, hang on, I'm going to go to the front. So I pull in front of the building. The mailbox is right there. I get out of the car. I drop in the ballot. I get back in the car. She, she's watching me. And she's like, okay, so where's my prize? I'm like, no, they have to do the draws. Oh, okay. And like at 5 o'clock, the phone rang. And they're like, hey, she, she went a coloring set. Come get it. It's like, so she totally expected it. She was, when I got back in the car from the mailbox, like it was only like two feet. She expected me to walk back with the, the prize. So when they called, I was like, of course they, she won. Of course she won. That's how it works, right? So she, she specced it and she got a really nice coloring set and I had to go back the next day and get it, which is very, very funny. 
Okay, so Tracy says, what was the main thing that you got interest that got oh got me interested in sweeps? Oh, my mom knows this. I've been entering since I was like as long as I can remember going to I remember being with my parents at my dad's company Christmas party when I was little. And they would have games for the kids. And I would be like, oh, I want to win. I want to win. I always wanted to win. And one of them was a memory game. And I had, oh, I was so good at it. I always would win the prize. I always loved that. And I remember being a teenager in the, this is going to show you how old I am. The First the rotary dial and then the push button phone to call and win. Be the, you know, fourth caller through or whatever to win tickets or something. I used to do that. But I didn't do it. I wasn't like a sweeper. It would be like one here and one there. I didn't really become a sweeper till I was older. And I remember, you know, if I was in the, I remember being one time before I started doing it, I, this whole cheese set showed up one time, cutting board, you know, the, the knives, a bowl, a whole serving set for like entertaining just showed up at our house one day. It's like, what the heck is this? Like, I couldn't figure out where. Like, we didn't order it. It had my name on it. There was no note in it. Nothing. So I'm like, well, where did this come from? So I started hunting it down. And then I finally figured out from... It took me a while. I finally figured out that it was... I was at the liquor store probably buying wine. And they had a ballot. And it was to win something. And I saw, oh. And I ripped it off and mailed it in. And I won. One of the, I don't know how many cheese sets they were giving away. It was beautiful. I still um, I have the big bowl. It was made out of rubber wood. It's gorgeous. And um, so I knew you could win stuff. And then um, another time, and my mom came on this trip. It's actually in the book. It's in the beginning of the book. So I won my local radio station. When I was working downtown Toronto, I was doing a Christmas um, remote in the window of the big department store by my office building. Because I worked near the big shopping mall downtown Toronto. And there's office towers off it and there's it's like right in the middle. And so every morning I would go early to work and go and watch this whole thing. And then one time they said, show us... Uh, a picture of little kids that you love. And I had my niece and nephew in my wallet. And I pulled it out and I won a hairdressing thing and lunch. And so my mom wasn't feeling well at the time. And I said, when you get better, you're going to go. We're going to go out for lunch together. You're going to get your hair done. It's going to be nice. So we went. She had her hair done. She looked gorgeous. She was feeling pampered because it was like the owner. It was like a high-end salon. And we had like the top hairstylist do it. It was she-she. Oh, it was fun. And then... We went for lunch and had a good lunch and we were leaving and they had this thing where put in your name and you win a trip to Barbados. And I said to her, oh, I said, oh, wait, wait, and I got to go back and get the ballots. Um, you know, she goes, oh, I said, no, no, no. If, if I win, I'll take you. If you win, you'll take me. And she's like, yeah, yeah. So I go and I grab the ballots because she didn't think nobody wins that stuff, right? And I'm all excited and I fill them out and I put them in and it's Christmas, I think it was like the 23rd of December or something. And I'm over, because I lived uh, on my own at that point, and I had come home to like, we were wrapping gifts and stuff, and the phone rang, and she said, uh, they said, oh, you might have won a trip to Barbados. She said, how do I win this trip? So they asked her a still disgusting question. She thought, this is stupid. And then she thought, I'm going to answer. She thought it was like a telemarketer. She said, oh, it's Christmas, I should be nice. So she answers the question. They go, congratulations, you won. We'll call you in the new year, tell you how to claim your trip. She's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's going on? How did I win this trip? She said that, and I went, ah! So she goes, the woman's like, didn't you enter? And she's like, oh, I think one of my kids put my name in. And I'm like, yeah! So that April, we went, and it was so nice. It was like one of the best trips. So that was, I really knew you could win because... It didn't cover everything because it was just hotel and airfare to this beautiful resort that's still there in the um, Barbados. We still had to pay for our food, but still, it was amazing. And so I knew you could win trips. And then, and I remember, then I um, moved to um, Australia. And even there, 
I was finding things like mail this away and I would do it and things would come in the mail. My aunt's like, what's going on? Okay. Oh, this is a good one. So, um, I saw, uh, I think Kay said, what happens when a prize doesn't arrive? She wanted it Christmas. Yeah, it doesn't materialize. She went at Christmas and called email, no results. Ooh. Okay, so it depends on what you want and where it's from. First of all, I'd say LinkedIn is your friend. So um, is it an agency or the sponsor? And you want to find someone in the marketing department. So we had this problem this year with Gatorade. George won one of the weekly prize packs for Gatorade. And nothing. We didn't get it. And I wait, and I wait, nothing. So I'm emailing the agency through the email. Nothing, no response. So I'm like, all right, I'm not waiting anymore. So I start searching, and then I find other people. I, I start finding people at the agency that's running the sweepstakes. And I start saying, okay, who's in charge of the Gatorade account? Because that's how they work, right? You have agency managers, so you have, like, directors, and it goes down the list. And then usually accounts like that would have, so Pepsi, someone would have the Pepsi, the master Pepsi account. And then other agency reps under it, them, would have, someone would be doing Gatorade, somebody might be doing Lay's, somebody would be doing Doritos. Like, they all have the different accounts. And then sometimes when running a contest, it won't just be one agency. So I remember working for an agency and there was five different agencies working on one contest. So someone's doing the analytics, somebody's doing the social, someone's doing fulfillment, someone's doing the... It's sometimes to big companies it can get a little crazy. So you need... To, so I started trying to find who the agency manager was and I talked to a bunch of people. And then suddenly I get a call, like I don't know how many weeks, we get a call from Canada Post going... Hey, someone's put in a claim that a package has gone missing. Did you ever get this package? I'm like, is it from this company? He's like, yeah. I'm like, well, we didn't get it. <laughs> the poor man from Canada Post. I'm like, where is this package? Da -da 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 -da. Well, we had won tickets to the hockey game and we went one night. And when we got home, there was a huge box on the doorstep from Canada Post with the prize. I thought, hmm. Yeah, so once they put in a claim, I think who knows where this package went. And so it had to be chased down. So the company had sent it out like a month before and it has been flo it was floating around in Canada Post, so who knows. And the box uh, was worse for wear, but thankfully the prize inside was fine and we let the sponsor know we were very grateful. But so start chasing down the prize to make it materialize. Uh, so there's different ways you can go about it, but I never yelled at anybody except the poor man at Canada Post because I was very frustrated with him. Uh, you know, ask nicely, hey, I'm really concerned, the prize is missing. More, you catch more flies with um, honey than you do with vinegar. So just assume everybody is, and now I, it, you might have a little, uh, be a little bit harder because a lot of people are working from home. I don't know if they'll have access to tracking things down if it's been put in the post and gone on rye. Um, oh, she says, direct from Aladdin's dip, spoke to several, no agency. MJ had the same lack of response. I don't, okay, so, um, hmm, oh, gee, I shouldn't have said that. So maybe what I would do is I would contact the owner of the company and say, I don't know if you've con tried contacting the owner, but I'd say I'm very concerned. You're running these promotions and the prizes aren't going out. And I understand um, this is happening. So what can we do to resolve it? I would try that approach. Uh, if you still don't have any luck, DM me. We'll see what we can do to help. Yeah, so Catherine said sometimes prizes are delivered in days and sometimes months. Yeah, Leslie... Lisa, sorry, says, I had to do a dental nudge today. Hoped it worked. Yeah, sometimes it happens, especially with what's going on. A lot of people are trying to work from home, and now there's they have all their computer work, and they've got kids staying home from school, so it's going to be a little chaotic um, 
Yeah, Nancy says, I never received the $50 gift card from Budweiser in October. I'm still working on it. Yeah, you have to be persistent. Again, marketing people are human. So just remember that when you're dealing with them. Because you that could be you. Let's face it, we've all worked in... A lot of us have worked in offices or public service or something. And it's... It's crazy. So, yeah, so if you're just nice about it and say I'm concerned and also, you know, it, it's just not good for their marketing, right? Because now you kind of have a bad taste in your mouth from that brand. And it's a real shame because you want to love them because obviously you wouldn't be entering and supporting them if you didn't like them as a brand. But, and so where, I don't even know, where are we, where are we at here? Oh, we have lots of time. Okay. Oh, yes. Janice says, this is a good tip from Janice. I find that DMs work really well. Uh, they don't like being scolded publicly. Being nice works best. I wouldn't, yeah, and I wouldn't say scolded. Sometimes if you can't get them through DMs, even posting on their page, hey, I won this and it's gone missing. I never received it. I'm really concerned. I love your products. I use them regularly, whatever. Um... So it's funny, I just opened my book, I was going back to the Attracting Luck chapter, and I found the, cha I just opened the chapter on joining a contest club, which is a lot of fun, and again, I have my next one on the 26th, so one of the other ideas I had of doing it is I get messages from a lot of people saying there's no actual clubs in my area, so where can I find other sweepstakers? So this is a kind of, it's a great way to virtually sweepstakes. Because I find being around other sweepers, it gets you invigorated. Again, what did Michael say? Raise your vibration, right? Get you invigorated and excited and you want to win. Now, I know it's not the same as being in person, but it, it does feel nice to, um, to enter and, you know, talk with other people. Because you can say stuff to sweepers that you can't say to other people. You talk about what you want and they go, yay! Instead of like, oh. Right? Oh, you're so lucky. That's so annoying. Um. Oh, yeah. So the marketer, she said, noted she was out and forgot to post an auto email response. So it could take a while to receive an answer. Yeah, there's, be a little patient right now. A lot of people are in wonky situations. Um. We're basically only going out to get food and otherwise pretty much staying in the house and it's supposed to be warm this week. So I'm going to take advantage of it and clean my gardens and get them ready and get some fresh air. So it's, uh, it's good to do that. And, uh, okay. So what else do we want to talk about? So then I have, so in here, let me go through the parts that I put on in attracting luck. So I talk about different things. So each of the seven steps, I think there's seven. I like Colleen's three better, it's shorter. So positive thinking, I put a quote in there, a long quote from The Power of Positive Thinking with uh, by Norman Vincent Peale. So then I have expectations, right? Expect it. So Ovid said, luck affects everything. Let your hook always be cast. In the stream where you least expect it, there will be fish. So that's kind of like where preparation meets opportunity is luck. Right? Then I have a quote from The Luck Factor, which is amazing, because he talks about expecting it. He said, my research revealed that lucky people do not achieve their dreams and ambitions purely by chance. Nor does fate conspire to prevent unlucky people from obtaining what they want. Instead, lucky and unlucky people achieve or fail their ambitions because of fundamental differences in how they think about themselves and their lives. Interesting. And um, I don't have my copy right now. I lent it. That is actually almost exactly what Gary John Bishop said in Stop Doing That Shit. That's a great book about stop self-sabotaging. And his book covers and shows you how you think about um, yourself, how you think others think about you, how you perceive the world, and how to switch that. And one of the things he teaches you in it 
is that most people go through life letting the past push them forward. And he said it's wrong. He said the key to success is envisioning the future you want and pulling it towards you, which is project it, right? Look at all the crazy people who did these things. Disney envisioned this park. Everyone said, you're nuts. It's never going to work. He did it. Look what happened. Disney World, amazing. All the parks are now kind of created after him. Steve Jobs said, hey, you know, let's let's put music in this little thing. I mean, the, I think the Koreans were doing it first, but he's like, we can bring that technology here. Let's do it. Here, somebody figure it out. And they went, that's crazy. Who doesn't have memory on their phone and that they're downloading everything now he changed the music industry everyone told him he's crazy right everybody everybody that's crazy that sees some future that no one else can see that's what happens because they're all bringing it in from the future and again what's that that's the see it's all the same thing over and over and over again the law of attraction the secret spec right and sometimes hearing it different ways uh really helps so that's the expectation part. The law of attraction. We create by feeling, not by thought. Right? So I noticed that when I was going through my divorce and I was a little bit sad. I didn't feel like entering and I was feeling a little miserable. I wasn't winning as much. And now that I'm in a better space and I'm happy, I'm entering not a lot, but... Um, I'm winning a, a decent amount, I think, relative to the number of contests I enter. Um, oh, Catherine says, last fall I asked my other half if he won tickets to Elton John. Would he go with me? He said, yes, I entered every day and I won the tickets. Yay. And hopefully you can go. Um, would they reissue your tickets? Unfortunately, because I know he's postponing his tour. Um... Now, this is important for today. Now, this is the part that I could talk about energy balancing inside and out. Really important right now. Robert Fulham says, be aware of wonder. Live a balanced life. Learn some and think some and draw and paint and sing and dance and play and work some every day. Right? And that's what we're learning how to do now. Stop being busy. Put down your phone. Ironic I say that during a Facebook Live. Um... But now we're spending time with people and we're doing things together and people are, you know, like I'll be going outside. Oh, thank gosh, the good warm weather's coming. Right? So we want to we wanna move that energy around. So that's good. And it's also, look, also with Feng Shui, clear out the clutter. It's a good time to do some spring cleaning. The thrift stores near us have closed, like the donation spots. But start, you know, start getting that bag ready or the box. Start you know, putting things in, and when they open again, you can just take it and be gone with it. Perfect. Um, so Deepak Chopra, I like this. He says, the universe operates through dynamic exchange. Giving and receiving are different aspects of the flow of energy in the universe. And our willingness to give that which we seek, we keep the abundance of the universe circulating in our lives. I think that's really good right now. Because a lot of people are helping take care of people that can't do it. My mom, I was worried about her. She lives about an hour away. I said, hey, uh, do you need me to come down? Because she's, you know, she lives by herself. And I'm like, I want you to be okay. Do you need me to bring you food? Do you need me to do anything? And she's like, no. There is a group in her condo and her, com not just condo, but the whole community. They have a Facebook group. And all the young people that live in the buildings are taking care of anybody that needs errands runs for them. Like if they're not feeling well or they can't go out, you know, somebody might have mobility issues, somebody else might be um, senior, somebody else might be have children and they can't get down to the store because there's nobody else to mind the kids, and they're helping. So it's really brought the community together. I really think that's brilliant that 
all these people that are now working from home or younger or college students or however, whoever they are in the building, they're just all pulling together. Communities are doing that now and it's lovely. Um, we need to keep more of that. Right? See, every action generates a force of energy that returns to us in like kind. What we sow is what we reap. And when we choose actions that bring happiness and success to others, the fruit of our karma is happiness and success. Think about the last time you helped somebody. How did you feel? Really good, right? That's it. So it's the same. That's why we, it's also fun to share wins. Like sometimes I enter for things, not for me, but for other people. Right? And like I talked about, the universe rewards action by Jack Canfield said that, one of my favorite quotes. And Rhonda Barnes from this book said, Gratitude is one of the easiest and most powerful ways to transform your life. If you become truly grateful and you will, you will magnify Magnetize absolute joy to you everywhere you go and everything you do. So you could use a, I had one out here, a little notebook like this, right? I got this nice little notebook. I'm a Toastmaster, right? So you can just use a simple notebook and write down what you're grateful for. Right? So you don't need anything fancy. You just have a little notebook and you can write, make it a gratitude journal. Right? And then, so, and Harv, T. Harv Eker, you notice how many different people I'm quoting and they're all kind of saying the same thing? Your inner world, the mental, the emotional, and spiritual creates your outer world and the physical. So Helene says, you'll see it when you believe it. Again, that's expect. So let's see if there's anybody else. Yeah, Kay says community Facebook pages and help groups are expanding more and more. Something good of Facebook. Um, oh, yeah. Leanne says concert is postponed to 21, 2021. That's okay. They, You will go. Oh, Rosie says, I also like to think you get back what you put into the world. Casting your bread on the water, karma, whatever you want to call it. Yep. Oh, Sandy said, this is so clever. I always say thank you to people when they say, you're so lucky. I never deny it. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, so that's another aspect that we did not talk about. And that's why these pages, like my good, um, good vibes, Vibration Sweepstakes Club and why the virtual club meetings because we have to can't do the impersonal ones right now and There was a sweepstakes party that was planned for April 25th, but it's postponed now until October 17th um, I just did a blog post on that today, but being in a room full of sweepers so fun Because Helene talks about that when people give you energy, right? So when we're in a group like that, we're all giving each other energy. It's so exciting. So she said they went to a Christmas party once and everyone said, oh, the Hadzels are here. They win everything. So of course they won. She saw a tape player. I think they were going to give it to one of their kids at Christmas. She's like, oh, I'd like that for, you know, I don't remember which one. And she won it because not only were they putting their energy to, hey, I want to take that prize home. Everyone else is like, well, the Hatzels are going to win it. So all their energy came towards them. So that's why it's really fun to, to belong to the Vibrations Club and do these kind of things because other people also give you energy, right? So it's a lot of fun to be with other sweepers because it brings up your vibration. And Michael said, right, raise your vibration. You raise your vibe. You're excited when you're entering. Don't. So sometimes I enter, if I feel miserable, like when I'm feeling miserable, sometimes I would sit and enter because it actually make me feel better. Oh, I'm not having a good day. I'm going to sit and enter sweepstakes. And then by the end of it, I'm feeling better because I've been having some fun. So the act of sweepstaking has risen my vibe. Sometimes it's good to enter when you're feeling like the best time to win a sweepstakes is right after you've won a sweepstakes. So you're like, woo, I'm feeling lucky. And then you, you start entering. 
and that energy is going to draw more prizes to you. So there's two trains of thought there on how to put that energy out there. Sometimes it's good to enter when you're miserable because it helps raise your vibration. And sometimes it's good when you're high and vibey and excited to enter and that'll do it too. Okay, so we're getting the end of our hour and I'll be doing the prizes afterwards. And let's see. Yeah, I'll give away. What I'll do is I'll save the last two books for the end because not everybody can watch live. It's not really fair to the people that are in different time zones or have to work or something. And um, I had someone say I had skill when that person didn't win the contest I won. Well, there you go. <laughs> oh, yeah, Janice says good to know about the Michigan Mini. Yeah, it's going to be fun, and, and my daughter's going to come with me, and so, yeah, I think we're good. So I'm going to, after this, I'm going to post up um, the link to Michael's um, videos, but you have to scroll way back to get to the first ones, and then I'm going to post the link to um, the PDF of the uh, luck factor which is really good and then I'm gonna post the rules to the contest and I'm gonna give prizes out for the people that were here tonight and then I'll save a prize for people that can't watch live so I'll maybe divide them in half and do that way so we'll do it I'll make it fair I'll make it fair. well you know me I'm the contest queen of course I'm fair and I like the hat. I think I'm going to keep it till next year. I think this is going to be my my party hat for every year. I just think this thing is so great. <laughs> little wee, little wee hats. What I needed is green lipstick. I didn't have any green lipstick. I have blue lipstick that I bought uh, from MAC to wear when I go to the Maple Leaf games. So that I have my Maple Leaf jersey and I have the blue lips. Because, you know, we got to cheer on our team. Uh, but I don't have green, so now I need green so that when I do like St. Patty's stuff or lucky things, I have. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. I don't think. Oh, Linda says, oh, that's fun. I like contests that have two prizes. One for yourself and the person you tag. I, yeah, I love that too. And, and sometimes we've had where we win like a lot of coupons. And I'll we'll share with the contest club because... We can't drink that much or eat that much, or so I think that's it. Oh, yeah, patients where I work often ask me what I've won lately. I tell them I'm so lucky, good vibes from them. It's true. I kind of that's the reason I like having my I'm lucky license plate because people see it and go, Oh, she must be lucky, and I get it from random strangers. <laughs> and I've had when I've crossed the border in the past. They said, oh, like when I've driven across, I've had some of this, the customs guy go, are you going to the casino? I'm like, no, I'm going shopping. They're like, oh, your license plate says you're lucky. I go, well, I am lucky. <laughs> I'm not going to the casino today. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Anyway, happy St. Patrick's Day. I hope you had a good day. hope you're feeling lucky. I hope you can win things. Uh, follow my blog because I'm actually, because I'm home. I'm blogging a lot this week. I have like three or four on the go. I've got some more classes coming up. I've got lots of things happening. So have a good night and uh, see you in social. <laughs>